is good quality. We'll go with this. Make sure I don't take a deep breath right before I start speaking. Okay, so as promised, we're gonna do the LLM installation for Comfy, and it is pretty simple. So let's go ahead and jump into our Comfy. And here we are in our basic Stable Diffusion workflow. Now, if you go into your Comfy UI Manager, which we installed in the last video, and you go to Custom Nodes Manager and search for LLM, you will see that there are a lot of options you can use for this. One of the really cool options that I've tried is this Comfy UI FAI tools. And if you install this, it comes with a lot of custom nodes that let you do a bunch of different things however the drawback is that it's pretty heavy so it will slow your system down quite a bit and it's not so straightforward to use if you're not already very comfortable with comfy comfortable with comfy comfy with comfy comfy with comfy so another option that i found recently that works really well with flux and it's very lightweight very simple very easy to use is this surge llm for comfy ui all of these language model nodes are going to load in some type of a language model in order to generate prompts for you but this one specifically does a really good job at unloading it before moving on to the next step of running flux or stable diffusion so that it doesn't slow your system down it's also very simple to use as you'll see in just a moment all you got to do is type a few basic words into the text field and then click generate and it will create a very sophisticated prompt for you to feed into your flux and stable diffusion models so we're just going to click install on this and as you can see it will require a restart so we're just going to go ahead and restart our comfy when comfy restarted it went ahead and and installed all of the dependencies it needed to run this custom node. So now we can add the nodes to our workflow just by double clicking and searching for Surge. There are a couple to choose from. The top Sarge LLM node is the one that will actually generate the prompt for us. And this output node is one that we can use to preview what it generates. So first we'll go ahead and add the LLM node and we'll just scoot it over here. And then we will add the preview node and we'll just zoom in a little here and resize this so we can see the full output and we will connect up this generated tab to our surge output node and then we need to connect this generated prompt over to our text encode node and if you happen to watch the comfy ui deep dive i did you'll know this but we can just right click on this prompt go down to convert widget to input and then convert text to input and that will change this node so that there's no longer a text field there instead it will expect some text to be fed into it and that's how we can connect this to here so we'll just move this up on top of there and then we can scoot this in and as you can see this sarge node is very simple all you do is type a basic prompt in here and it will output your very sophisticated prompt and then that will go through the rest of your workflow and get fed to your flux or stable diffusion model and then we of course need the actual language model that sarge will load in order to generate the prompt for you and to get that we're just going to go over to this github page Page here sarge dp slash comfy ui sarge llm of course there will be a link in the description and if you scroll down to just below this picture you will see here is a link to get the model and he also tells you where to install it so we're just going to create this folder called llm gguf underneath our comfy ui models directory and then we're going to download that to there so to do that we're just going to right click here save link as and then we will go into our comfy folder and to models and as we saw here we need to put this llm gguf folder into this directory which is not one of the default folders that comes with comfy so we will just click there and Control shift in to create a new folder llm underscore gguf and then we will go into that folder and we will save this model there and of course this is kind of a larger file so it could take a second if you are on a slower internet connection all right so now if we jump back into our comfy all we need to do is hit this little refresh button down here at the bottom and you can see we are updated and it automatically selected that model in there
and we can just try a prompt. We'll just try something simple like a cyberpunk cat riding a skateboard and click Q. And as you can see, this is the prompt that the Mistral model generated for us, which is far more sophisticated than the prompt that I gave it. A gritty futuristic cityscape sets the stage for this dynamic cyberpunk scene. The subject is an anthropomorphic feline donning cybernetic enhancements and sporting neon colored fur as it confidently rides a high tech skateboard. I'm not going to go through it, but you get the idea. And wow, very interesting. Not at all what we wanted. Don't know what the hell this is. Now, in my experience, stable diffusion does not do well with these long prompts. So as you can see, it gave us kind of a cyberpunk city, but there is no cat riding a skateboard. So if we jump over to our flux workflow and give it a try, we will just add the Sarge node as before, LLM node, and then the Sarge, if I can spell, output node. And again, we will just convert this to an input and we can then just make it much smaller because we don't need it to be large. We will connect our generated to there and to our text there. And if we just try that same exact prompt, we should get a much more pleasing output because Flux is specifically trained to handle these very long prompts. And there we go, much better. Now we have our cool little cyber punk cat riding his skateboard through the dreary rainy streets of his dystopian cyberpunk city. All right, that's all there is to it. Now you have the powerful Mistral language model you can use right inside Comfy to get the best possible prompts that you can feed into Flux, which will, of course, result in the best possible image generations. The next video that's coming is going to be the stable video diffusion video, which will use our language model to produce a sophisticated prompt that will get fed into our Flux model to produce a high quality image. And then that will get fed into stable video diffusion which will produce a video from the image we've generated i will leave a video card in the video up here somewhere whenever that is posted i want to see what you guys come up with too so leave links in the comments or you can also tag me on instagram or x it's the same username on all the platforms but you can find links to that in the description and of course you can get my workflows for free over on patreon i do have a poll up on youtube right now if you guys want to respond to that just asking what is the best method of sharing things like these workflow files or code or anything like that with you guys i can continue to put them on patreon if that works for you guys or i could put them on github or i could make google drive links so if you have preferences for that just let me know in the poll that way i know what is the best way to share this type of stuff with you guys i don't charge for anything over on patreon but it's just a convenient place for me to share files since i can't attach files to youtube posts so anyways, yeah, if you have preferences, respond to that poll and let me know what works best for you guys. Of course, like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Obviously, that really helps me out a lot. And be sure to share this with anyone you know who might find it useful as well. I'm going to get on to making the stable video diffusion video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.